fast-growing hybrid poplars show great promise as a renewable energy crop in the Pacific Northwest. Poplar chips can be put through a chemical refining process to produce liquid transportation fuels such as gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel that are fully compatible with existing engines. Potential poplar growers should consider several key factors, such as the amount and type of available land, soil quality, and irrigation requirements. Growers should also evaluate the market potential for hybrid poplar feedstock, such as the existence of a nearby biorefinery, expected market prices, price stability, and opportunities for a local growers cooperative. Site preparation begins with the clearing of hay, pasture, or brush. Additional site preparation activities might include ripping of plant rows, disking or rototilling, or the use of a pre-emergent herbicide to discourage weed growth. In the late winter, cuttings are collected from suitable, high-yielding poplar clones in the nursery. The cuttings are planted in rows 10 to 12 feet apart. The poplar cutting is planted with the buds up, leaving four to six inches above the ground. After planting, the soil immediately around the cutting needs to be firmly packed to ensure the cutting is in good contact with moist soil. Several different poplar varieties should be established in blocks within the plantation to minimize the risk of crop failure. New leaves will emerge from the buds within a few weeks. Some sites may benefit from fertilizer application depending on soil quality. In the first year, the poplars can grow between 5 to 8 feet tall, with annual growth between 8 to 12 feet in succeeding years. Sprays of post-emergent herbicides may be needed to control weeds. Some plantations may also need pesticides to control damaging diseases and insects. Your local extension office or State Department of Agriculture can provide recommendations and assistance for herbicides and pesticides. Harvesting is conducted every two to three years, depending on the productivity of the site. The process involves a conventional forage harvester with a specialized biomass head that cuts and grinds the saplings as it moves down the rows, feeding the chips into a truck. The cut stumps then re-sprout with multiple shoots in the spring that will be harvested in future years. Although the dormant season is preferred, Harvesting can be done any time of the year to meet the demand of the biorefinery. Harvesting is most cost-effective and efficient on larger acreages or on several small acreage sites that are close together. A continuous supply of poplar feedstock will help ensure the success of an environmentally sustainable biofuels industry in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm.